Okay, we're joined by uh, the Dog Tag Navigators. It's a group of uh, veterans that have gotten together um, in recognition of 911 victims and veterans. It's a three day event being held this uh, coming next weekend down at Fort Tabor. The first day is a day of remembrance and healing. And we have all the religious people in the area coming in. They're going to have an interfaith uh, ev event. Also, there's going to be the unveiling that day of this mural. Perhaps you can see it here. Just a glimpse because it's unveiled. They're, the community is working on painting this mural. This was provided by a grant <coughs> through UMass Dartmouth, Center for Civic Engagement and South Coast Serves. It was designed by Lynn LeBurge and it's being painted by the community. So that's one thing on Thursday. Friday is a stand down. That's when all the veterans who are homeless or at risk veterans can come in and we have massages. We have the Veterans Administration coming in. We have all kinds of vet center, which handles the PTSD issues. We have all kinds of stuff for those. We have free food, we hope, and clothing. And uh, so that's Friday. Then Saturday, let's lighten it up a little bit. Let's just have a nice health and job fair. Let the whole community come, have a little fun. Fort Tabor's a beautiful park. Yes, it uh, is. You know, it is just, it's stunning that that's probably the top destination as far as I'm concerned in the South Coast. But it's a beautiful park. And uh, the park department has stepped up, the city, the mayor's office has stepped up, and we're able to have this three-day event for veterans. Not to take anything away from that event, but I see you're here with the guys from Youth Bill, or the, the youth from Youth Bill, both men and women. What's your involvement with Youth Bill? What's the activity? What brings you here? We're unusual in that, uh, you know, there's just maybe 10 of us that do what we do, and we needed help to put this event together because we are not allowed to charge veterans by law. We still have to pay for staff. And so we went to Youth Build to ask if they would help us raise money, help us raise awareness. Look at this, they're doing those garden beds over there. That's very practical. You know, where a veteran can take those garden beds, grow food, right, with the seed and everything, grow their own food, you know, so if they're struggling. So they're doing extremely, they're going to do security, all kinds of stuff that they're we're helping. Just, Brian and I were talking with them earlier, with Eric and the, and the team. They, they're such an asset, such a resource to the city. You know, we just feel that it'd be a shame for us to lose it. And like fighting for veterans, fighting for youth build who work with the veterans, work with the community, make sure their funding comes down from the federal government. Uh, that's, that's important. I asked Eric a question earlier of what this meant to youth bill and the youth that are involved in it, knowing that you're doing something for veterans, veterans that have served our country and what it meant to them. Um, how, how intense is this that these young people are involved and um, where do you see the good out after all is said and done? We're forming, we're cooperating, collaborating and partnershiping with youth build, PACE, AmeriCorps, as mentors. Our experience can be useful for helping guide these young men to make uh, right choices in their lives so that they can be effective contributors in the community and not deterrents to the community. That's a beautiful thing. Gentlemen, not Thank only you. have you served our country, but you come back home and you Still continue serving. to serve, yep. and you continue to not only serve your veterans that are in need, but you're looking at our community as a whole and our youth and bringing them involved and a lasting impression within maybe their hearts of giving back to the community, giving back to our veterans, and being a part of um, the foundation that this great city is made up of. And Thank you. Connecting us. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. We'll look forward to seeing you next weekend. Okay. I know you were emotionally moved just now, just by a moment when we've talked to two veterans that have served our country and to have the opportunity to speak to the general public and they were overcome with the emotion. I, you know, that was a private, personal moment and I apologize for us viewing that. But by the same token, you're right. It's so important to see 
these guys are committed to doing stuff for veterans. They know how difficult it is, and we've all seen the news. Veterans aren't getting the kind of medical services that are needed and required. And to see guys like, uh, you know, the two of Cecil them. and David. Yep. Uh, to like the two of them who get so involved and so committed, it actually it actually took them emotionally. And, and that's what makes us proud that we're able to come down and support their efforts and support the efforts of people like them here in the city of New Bedford. While not being a serviceman, I've always um, thought of this and, and, and you uh, somewhat feel the, 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 what they feel inside and really we have no idea, those of us that have not served, but that emotional moment um, makes this uh, councilor realize that um, we in this community, not only us as elected officials, but the community at large, recognize this, recognize our veterans coming home, recognize which uh, they have contributed and their sacrifices and tried to contribute in any way that we possibly can because this is about our country and what they have sacrificed. We have the benefits of being able to be here today, being able to speak freely on the council floor or to just speak freely in general because people have fought for that privilege and we, I think too many take it for granted. I know I appreciate it and I know you and all my colleagues appreciate it. And that's why we here in the City Council have tried to recognize veterans coming home. A certificate, uh, just to say welcome back, thanks for your service. It didn't go by unnoticed or unappreciated. And for people who have 100 certificates on the wall, it doesn't mean anything. For the guy that gets the first one, or now 14% of women serving the military, or our women serving the military, I think we're more proud to be able to recognize them than they are to be recognized. So true. Hey, we've got one more. Before you go, let's look. Cecil was talking about the mural that was being de developed. I'm here with Lynn LeBurge, and Lynn has kind of put this whole project together. Lynn, tell us what's the project all about, and what, are, what can we expect? I know it's going to be unveiled next weekend. Yes. Um, first of all, I was very excited when South Coast Serves um, asked me to help out with the mural project. So we had a meeting with Cecil Hickman and the Dog Tag Navigators, and they helped us come up with the concept for the mural to have the unveiling. And it's going to be a mobile mural that they'll be able to bring to different events that they have and on the other side used maybe as a bulletin board for information that they want to get out to the vet. So we're, we're getting a kind of a sneak peek at an, know, early, at, a, at an early presentation. But this is all hand done. Uh, you etched it out and now volunteers are helping to paint it. Um, yes, um, I was asked to design the mural, but we wanted to make sure it was done in a way that the community could come to help out and paint. So, you know, it was a very strong message. The and again, I don't want to re reveal too much about the mural itself because we'll do that at the unveiling. But it's a powerful message, and it was designed in a way that it was hopefully simple enough that we had some amazing volunteers come and paint. How many volunteers have been involved in the painting up to date? I would say off and on today we've had about ten. Um, we've had great volunteers that have been here from start to finish. Um, now, are they really a professional artist, or are they just community people coming down to paint? We've had a wide range. We've had very young children come and take on the lettering, which is challenging. But again, I'm here. I'm going to kind of touch up the final piece, touch up the lettering. We've had amazing artists that have had a lot of skill doing the camouflage work. We have some beginners and some advanced artists. I see Councilor Gomes looking for a paintbrush. I'm going to give him a, pa a paintbrush. <laughs> Brian? Thanks, David. Um, you know, this means so much to the community, and we hear about the community involvement. And uh, to the, the right of me is a lady who is no um, uh, stranger to the city of New Bedford and her contributions not only to culture but to a city as a whole. And it's young people, and it goes on and on. What does this mean to you today, Colleen, to be part of this and um, just to be participating? And you do great work. I know I've been following this on Facebook for a while, and it was something that was near and dear to me. Um, veterans um, in my family in particular, we've had somebody serve in the military from World War II all the way up to the present. I have a, a nephew who is a captain in the Air Force. And I just think it's important to show kids in the city that this is not a bad city. There are good adults here that will come out and do these things, and it's fun. It's therapeutic. 
what do you think that uh, young people today get out of this that are involved, like Youth Bill and um, bringing so many organizations together? But more important, the youth, as you have pointed out, um, to show the kids that, that we have a great community here and we somewhat all have an obligation to be involved in any small way that we possibly can. Um, I think that it's you lead by example. And there have been a lot of young men, young men of color and otherwise, that have been here today. And as an adult, you have to really make sure that you let that child know that you recognize the contribution that they're making and that it's a good thing that they're doing and we lead by example. We thank you for your contribution. We thank you for your involvement within the community and um, you're doing some great work there. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Just a couple of quick things. This is all done by volunteers now. Your volunteers got involved because they saw it on Facebook or someone told them to come down. I noticed as you were saying they're people from community that just want to come yeah. down and get involved. I think one of the most exciting parts about doing these community projects is the people that you meet while you do it. These are people that I just met today. They have amazing stories. They have amazing respect and commitment to this city. And that's part of this whole process. Still looking for volunteers? <laughs> We're always looking for volunteers. <laughs> well, in addition to doing the mural here for uh, dog tags, Mm -hmm. navigators you you do it for you work for the city yes yep I work out of the Department of Community Services and I do work in New Bedford High School currently and I've done numerous uh, projects really focusing on youth so again we've encouraged a lot of youth to come out and paint and you know it's really exciting to do these projects it it really ties them to the community gets them involved in doing service in the community and that's what really our goal is so the, as an artist, they don't get to sign the front of this. Everybody gets to no. sign the back, And I right? won't even sign it. Right. It's such a community project that, you know what, I, I get the picture on here, and the rest just happens. So well, I'm just happy to be here and be involved. I want to thank you on behalf of the veterans, not just Dog Tag and Navigator, but on behalf of all of our veterans, getting the word out about, and I'm going to share it, I will serve, I am serving, I have served is an important recognition of veterans and thank you so much for making it available. Thank Lynn, you. it's been a pleasure.